Uh, my name is Dr. Dempsey Rachel. I work at uh, San Quentin State Prison. And the purpose of this CE is to really give you guys an introduction to forensic assessment. I, I want to teach you guys the difference between forensic evaluations and therapeutic evaluations uh, and then develop an in-demand specialization specifically for symptom validity tests or malingering assessments. Um, and then I have my website down there where I have a Q&A section. So if any of you have any questions, 10 years from now, uh, 10 months from now, you're working on an evaluation and you want to contact me or post something on the website or just email me, you certainly can, I'll always respond. This is a brief statement, it's probably very small font, don't worry about it, it's really just boils down to everything I say here is my own opinion and doesn't reflect the CDCR. So if you're interested in forensic assessment, um, these are some of the many associations, professional associations that I suggest you look into. Um, there are many more out there. These are the general ones for forensics. Um, just a brief introduction. There are many different types of uh, forensic assessment and this uh, opens the door. So I, I know that several of you said that you have small niches that you belong to for assessment um, that you've been doing SVPs or uh, you know, just, just child custody or whatnot, but the area of forensic assessment is wide open. Um, the uh, different types of assessments can be broken down into subspecialties of forensic assessment and forensic psychology. And um, Barbell and Bartle in 2004 actually identified these five areas. Uh, legal psychology kind of boils down to what goes on in family court, civil court, and criminal court. Whereas uh, you can also work in victimology, correctional settings, police psychology, and psychology of crime and delinquency. So for instance, correctional psychology is usually made up of PsyDs, PhDs, uh, that do clinical or counseling psychology. Uh, it's usually held on the state level uh, and it assists many different departments. Um, correctional psychology, you can have a correctional psychologist that works in the prisons, in the jails, in juvenile hall. You can also do um, like pre-employment screenings would be falling under correctional psychology in a lot of cases. Legal psychology for family courts and whatnot would conduct, uh, consist of doing child custody evaluations, for instance, abuse evaluations, risk evaluations for the, an abusing parent. It's also assisting attorneys and judges and juries. Um, this is where you see a lot of the expert witness testimony. Police psychology, uh, mostly PhDs again, and um, some uh, EDDs. And they really do trainings for police, shift schedules, also pre-employment screenings for the police department, and helping develop profiles. Uh, whereas psychology of crime and delinquencies, uh, often you see master's level clinicians or PhDs in this area. And it's really abnormal psychology, um, working for helping uh, develop programs for the youths and prevention programs. And of course, victim, uh, victimology, victim services, um, there's a lot of child psychologists in this section and also some forensic psychologists, mostly um, um, social workers, LCSWs, uh, MFTs are working with um, families and is really evaluating and treating victims and witnesses to crimes. This, you don't, I know way too much on a, a, a slide there, don't worry about that, you don't actually have to read it. It's just to show you that there are many different types of evaluations that are out there that could be broken. Really the focus of this course is to get your feet wet. Um, it's an introductory course to forensic psychology and forensic assessment uh, to expand practices for the few of you who want to do that and to focus your skills in different areas like forensic uh, report writing and malingering evaluations. What is forensic assessment? Well, uh, the definition um, is an evaluation performed to assist the court in legal decision making, presentation of evidence in a legal case by Milton. Okay, um, there are three books out there that I suggest that you get. Um, Milton's The Most Advanced. It's written 
as if it was for attorneys. It's written in kind of legalese. Um, it's kind of the hardest to understand, but it's also the most dense. Uh, I suggest starting with something like this. This is um, Jackson's book. Uh, and then I don't have Hilburn's book up here, but um, it is in my references. And all three of these books go over the many different types of uh, forensic assessment. It goes over, um, they, they come out every five years or so. Uh, Hilbrun and um, Melton have the newest case studies that are out there and the newest research. That's why I suggest picking up a copy. It also goes over the different types of evaluations that we're going to be covering in here and a lot more of the other types of evaluations. It gives you a basic understanding of what these types of evaluations are and kind of what to expect when you're doing them. 